Hey, this is a tutorial which explains how to use the Tap Mapper tool. Uh, it's a web hosted tool at map.tapwithus.com. At the top of the screen, you're going to see some controls that I'll describe. Um, and then below it, there's a table which you're going to use for entering the map. Uh, I know that the table looks complex, but this is a completely automated um, method and, and you, you really don't need to, to worry about it, but I'll, I'll explain it in detail in just a minute. Right, right at the top, there's a file name, so you can name your, uh, your, your map, so I'm just going to call it map. Um, when I'm done, I'm going to hit export and it'll save it to my default directory. Uh, you can also import, so if, you're, if you want to edit an existing tap map, let's say one that's been shared with you or one that you created, uh, you would just choose file and that'll open a dialog in which you can load it. Uh, and then you'll see those taps populated in this table down here. Uh, you can also load the default alphabet that comes with your tap strap. So if I click this, I now have the tap alphabet that um, comes with every tap strap um, populated in this, in this table. So uh, let, me, let me go ahead and describe the, uh, the table for a mo moment. So on the left, there's the tap code. Uh, it's five circles, each of which represents one of your fingers. Um, this is in right-handed mode, so um, the thumb is all the way here on the left. And the circles that are filled in are the ones that are tapping. So in this particular code, the first one, only the thumb is tapping. Now, if I want to see it in lefty mode, I can just click this and it will mirror it. So now it, uh, it shows uh, the thumb over here on the right um, of my, my left hand. Now I'm going to just unclick it because I'm more used to seeing things this way. Um, and there are 31 of these, uh, of these uh, um, tap codes. But there's more than one way to tap. So there's actually more than one table. So this is the, the, the table for single taps. And there's a little pull down menu here in which you can select which one you want to work on. So uh, you can edit all of them. There's five of them in total. And you can map um, you know, uh, the character, the, the taps in each of these spaces to whatever key that you want. Um, so there's single taps, there's double taps, there are triple taps. Shift taps, that's uh, the tap that you create when you, the, the letter that you send, or the, the command that you send, after you tap shift, and then the tap that you select, so I'll just, I'll just show you. Um, this is, of course, we use it for uppercase. Um, and there's switch. Uh, so after you hit switch, uh, and then you uh, tap something else, you'll get uh, these characters, the numbers, and the directional arrows, and um, some hotkeys, and things like that. Now let me go back to uh, single tap. And I'll show you that in each of these uh, tap spaces, uh, some of the character, some of the some of the tap codes are grayed out, and that that means that you cannot reprogram them. So these are what we call system taps. This one happens to be shift, and this one is switch. These are used by the system to control things, and and so therefore you cannot reprogram them. But in total, there's about 140 um, unique taps that you can reprogram. So there there are plenty, and you can reprogram them to to any key that you see on your keyboard. In fact, any key that you see on any keyboard. Uh, as long as there is a key code that goes with it, um, you can reprogram it. So I'll start out very simply. So, so here I have A that's associated with this tab. But let's say I don't want that to be A anymore. So I clear it. And now I'm going to, on my keyboard, I'm going to press the letter H. So now H. Um, appears in this character box, and when I tap my thumb, I will get H. Uh, over here to the right, there is the HID code. That's just the digital code that is sent. Um, now, the, you don't have to really uh, know anything about these codes. We just display them um, in case somebody is an expert and wants to um, muck around with them. Um, but generally, you do not, do not have to worry about them. Uh, then, over here to the right, there's a bunch of click boxes. Um, the first eight of these um, are what we call modifiers, and that's just how um, the system knows whether you're using um, one of the system keys on your keyboard. So that's Shift, um, Control, Alt, uh, Command on, a, on an Apple keyboard, for example. So those, so these eight flags um, uh, are associated with the the right, the, the, the you know the the those keys that are on the right and left hand side of your keyboard. So these are the left ones, and these are the right ones. So Let's say that um, I'm going to clear this again, and instead of just doing H, I'm going to do Command H, which is a useful hotkey. Uh, so first I hit Command, then I tapped H, typed H, 
And then um, this checkbox, the left meta, um, is associated with that. And that's all I have to do. So now when I tap my thumb, it's going to be Command H. And um, just to pick a different example, I'll, I'll do um, Control Command and Control Command. Both of these flags are now set. Um, and actually, I did not hit a key. So it's just going to send a blank character with those, uh, with those uh, flags set. Um, you can also, you, you can, you can um, map, um, uh, let's say, the function keys. So this, this is, uh, I just tapped F6 in this particular box. Um, and and uh, anything that you see there, it could be media controls on your keyboard or other things, you can program all of them um, into your, your, um, your map, and, uh, and they will be sent once you've loaded that into your tap strap. Um, you can use a foreign language keyboard and simply uh, press the key that you want, and you'll get that letter sent. I, I should warn you, of course, that in order to represent, to, to reproduce uh, the letter that you intended, you need to load, um, you know, that keyboard has to be the default keyboard on the device that you're tapping to. So uh, just be aware of that. All right, one last thing is that over here on the right, uh, there is a, a, a checkbox called hold. Now that's something that you have to do yourself. And it's, it's in order, in, in case you want to um, be holding down a key or, or simulate holding down a key. So let's say here, um, the letter O, if I wanted to continue sending O uh, continuously, I would just um, click this. And now when I tap O, which is my ring finger, it'll continue sending it until I tap it again. So that's how that works. Um, so you go through this, these tables. You can go through all five of them. You, you, can, you can program as extensive or as, as um, short a map as you want. You do not have to populate the entire thing. Uh, you can clear or not, you know, or, or not load to begin with um, uh, the letters that you don't want uh, populated, and they'll just be nulls and they won't send anything. Um, the the um, you know you can also have duplicates. So let's say you want ten different ways to tap the letter A, you can also duplicate that tap throughout the uh, throughout the chart. Uh, when you're done, um, you just uh, hit export. Um, it does. It saves it to your default directory. Um, we suggest that you try to save it to the cloud. It makes it easier to load it uh, onto your tap strap because Tap Manager um, now has a, a file chooser which can directly load things that are in Dropbox or um, you know iCloud or uh, Google Drive, whatever. All of the products that uh, that let you um, store things in the in the cloud, uh, you can load them directly. If you don't load them uh, on the cloud, you can still uh, all you all you need to do is get it locally on your uh, mobile device, uh, which you can do with an email or a file transfer system. Um, and then um, we'll have a more detailed description of this uh, elsewhere. But once you load it onto your tap strap, in order to enable the alternative mapping, the one that you've just done for yourself. Uh, you just double tap X, and then then that will be the active map until you double tap X again. Uh, if you turn your tap off, it's going to remember what the last uh, alphabet it was using was. So when you power it back up, if you were in uh, your your um, custom mapping, it will remember that. Or if you're in the default, it'll remember that as well. Um, and that's about it. So good luck and um, have fun mapping. <laughs>